When creating doors inside of Revit, it's sometimes useful to be able to relate the door number to the room number that they associated with. Let's see what happens when we just place a door normally. We have tag on placement, we place a door, and it becomes door number one. Subsequently, door number two, door number three. If we were to change it, for example, to 233, the next door would just simply become 234. So it simply, it simply takes the last digit of the mark and increments it. Now what if we could use Dynamo to relate the door number to the number that it opens up into? Let's see if that's possible. We're going to open up a new Dynamo and we're going to collect all of the doors. So we can get all the elements Link those together, set this to door, and then we're going to find the room information. Now the room information isn't just as simple as a property or parameter on the door unfortunately. If we take a look at the door here, however, if we edit the family and take a look at this door in the ground floor plan, there is a object called the room calculation point. Now when we check this what we get is the to room on this side and the from room on this side. So if we load that back into the project overwriting the existing, the door will now know about its to room and its from room. Again properties don't show it but that's the beauty of using Dynamo. Dynamo gives us access to some of those hidden parameters in the background because it can access the Revit API. Now in order to access this information, we will need to make use of some Python script. So I'm going to right click and look for Python. And then in order to actually place the script into here, we simply double click on this area down the base. But I'm just going to copy all of this, delete it and paste in what I need. Now we can see here that it's going to import some information, so we're importing the Revit API as well as Revit services and Revit nodes. We're then stating the document here and then the family instances as the input zero. So you can see here input zero. So we're saying whatever comes into input zero becomes family inst. We're then declaring an array of elements. And then we're saying for every object, if you like, of i inside of the family instances, we're going to unwrap the element. We're then defining some statements. So to get the to room and to get the from room. We're then defining some more arrays here. We've got room number, room name, doors and room. We're going to try and get the to room and we're going to try and get the from room. So then, if the from room is none and the to room is none, basically we're just appending information saying there is no to or from room. However, if the to room is not equal to none, then we're going to get the parameter for the name and the number. We're then going to append that information to the room number and room name array, as well as the door information and the room information. So you can see here then the out, which comes out here, is the room number, room name, doors, and room. So we'll finish that and then we can see well, it's, it's saying nothing's coming into it. So let's bring this in and there we go. What do we get on the outside? We get those four arrays that we defined. So taking a look at this again, the four things that we, have, the four arrays that we defined to be out were room number, room name, the doors, and then the particular room that they're associated with. So from this information, what I'm interested in doing is extracting just certain parts of it, the room number and the particular door, because I want to take the door and assign the room number to it as the door number. Now this is actually very easy with a code block. So what I can do, for example, is say the room number is equal to in zero. 
room name is equal to in one door is equal to in two and room is equal to for example in three as I bring this information into it we then get for example if I was to place a watch here that the room numbers are here room names door objects and room objects so now all I need is a set parameter I'm going to take the doors and set the parameter called mark to the room number straight away over here we can see starting to get information from the room number going into the door if I was to change the room number my door is going to change If I flip the door into the other room, again, my door number is going to change. So I'm sure with Python I could set it up to take notice of the particular doors and increment an A, B, C, D. Um, but in my instance here, what I've done is a bit more straightforward. I've just taken the door tag, taken the label, and introduced a shared parameter, which is going to be door number suffix. And then we'll just make sure that's on the project as well. So now this one can be A and this one can be B. So a very simple little piece of Dynamo, just a few nodes as you can see. And these nodes enable us to replicate the room number onto the door number.